welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield Rivalry. I am Zach and Josh from the Shy Guys. Mm -hmm. Zach, how's it going? Pretty good. So last episode, we had uh, our first rival battle. Yeah. And uh, things went down. It got... I, I, I'm I, not going to spoil how it went. Um, because you should go check it out if you haven't already. But uh, it was fun. It was really fun. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I'm hyped for the rest of the season. It's going to be good. Uh, we do have one more rival battle left to do so far because we've done uh, Nessa. Yeah. Nessa's gym. Two battles. Done Nessa's gym. Yeah, two gym battles. And so. So we are coming up on Kabu's gym. So uh, we may be after Kabu that we end up doing Nessa's gym battle, but. Or rival battle, but we'll we'll catch up at some point, like you said before. But uh, yeah, I, after. So, Zach, I know you probably didn't spend a lot of time on, on the game. But I spent quite a good bit of time on this game, uh, in between sessions, just because I, you know, I had time I could spend it. I've caught in my Pokédex right now, registered in my Pokédex, 108 Pokémon, and caught 67. Um, and also, people who are looking at my screen right now can see my last trainer card was updated with my my B team, so I've been calling it my B team, because I don't want to use my main team off camera because I don't want to get over leveled and things like that. Yeah. Um, so I've been using like a car call. Um, an Aracuda, a Yamper, a Corvus Squire, and Toxel all off on my B team, as well as a Pokemon that I caught off camera. Remember that Apple Pokemon I was telling you about, Zach? Yeah. The Apple with the worm sticking out of its butt? Mm -hmm. I found one in the wild, just randomly. I found I one. I kind of want it's one. It's called Applin. <laughs> yeah, it's called Applin. It's like a little dragon grass type. I'm like, what the heck is this thing? Um, I haven't evolved it yet, but it's it's there. I don't even know when it evolves or if it does. I um, hope it does, because it is a dragon mm -hmm. Pokemon, and usually those have a uh, couple stages yeah. but anyway uh, that's my B team right now but I, um, I'm using my main team still which is Dotler Grookey or Tw Thwacky Stunfisk right now Dubwool Dreadnought and Milsery and Zach I also discovered and I'm really glad I looked this up Milsery evolves in the weirdest weirdest way right and I'll do that in a second once we've done uh, <laughs> recapping but yeah Milsery evolves in the weirdest way Possible. Oh, and uh, Farfetch yeah. is evolving right now. What? Yeah. What are you doing? Are you are you battling? I just battled this guy standing next to me in this cave. You know, you know, I ended up. Yeah. I ended up right next to that water where uh, I was standing last time in the battle episode against each other. And yeah, there's yeah. this guy standing here. I just battled him and got a level on Dimitri, and he just evolved. Awesome. Yeah. Now I heard that. Surfetched evolves in a weird way. I don't, I don't know because I haven't confirmed it myself. But I heard you have to get like three critical hits in one episode, in one battle, for it to. That's even what evolve. just happened. Okay, so he didn't get a level. He just got three critical hits in a row. No joke. Yeah. I fought uh, an Onyx and something else. I can't remember what it was now, but I got a crit and killed the first guy, and then I got two crits to get an Onyx, and that evolved him. Cause that's what I heard. I was like, "That's a weird way to evolve no, something." No, I can't really believe cool. it. <laughs> that's really cool. That's that you did it by accident. Yeah. Cause I heard like I was like I was like that's kind of creative. You know, like having to get three critical mm -hmm. hits in in one battle yeah. for it to work. Like that's really cool. So I don't. And that, but I wasn't. I, I haven't able. I wasn't able to confirm it. We just did it right, right. there. <laughs> I don't think he even leveled up because I just figured he did until you told me that. So yeah, that's he's so still cool. level twenty-five. I'm battling that same trainer right now. Awesome. Also, off camera, oh, I was using a, uh, that. I was using that. I was using that Galarian Meowth off camera, a lot. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't want it to level up off camera, so I did look up when it levels up, and it levels up at 28. So at some point, I might switch it on back onto my team, mm -hmm. and uh, that way I can level it up and do that kind of fun stuff. Also, I did a couple raid battles off camera, and I found a TR, not a TM, but a TR for waterfall. Uh huh. So now Dreadnought has Waterfall. <laughs> nice. That's a good um, move to have on him. Yeah, I don't remember if Waterfall is physical or special, but it's still a water move, so that's that's all that matters. Oh, it's uh, it's physical. Okay. Oh, is it the physical version of like Surf? I guess. I think. Or no, Liquid Liquidation is closer to Surf, but it, it's yeah. It's but anyway, like yeah, that. it's it's <laughs> yeah. Dreadnought now has power. Oh, so I'm going to go ahead and evolve Milsery and uh, do things like that. Mm -hmm. So let me see for a second. Sand Tomb. Okay. I really did like you time Surfetch. Did stamp Surfetch, by the way? I did now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So 
Turns out I gotta spin around and strike a pose with Milsuri oh. on my party. I just ran into Hop. Milsuri has to be on my party when I strike a pose. I can't believe I did haven't done this by accident, by the way. I do it all the time. Just when yeah, I'm not doing I haven't, anything. I haven't spun around at all, apparently, once since I put Milsuri on my team. Which I think is so hilarious. But now I got Alchemy, so that's awesome. I wonder how Alchemy is going to serve me. How it's gonna be how awesome it's gonna be, you know? Mm-hmm. Cause I don't know I don't know the stats of Alchemy, and it's a pure fairy type. So that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, now I got Alchemy. I'm glad Sweet. I did it now and not later. Yeah. It's learning a move called Decorate. What is this? Ooh, huh. Where are you at right now? Uh, just past the trainer. Okay, so I haven't, if you I haven't done if you anything. walk just a little way, you're going to run into Hop. Okay. And also Kabu is here, so he says, hey, Kabu and Team Yo. So thank you for helping me out. Helping out with my training team, yo. But I must say, it's unforgivable for you to get in the way of a carcoal hard at work. We weren't getting in its way. We were trying to cheer it on. Still, you did a number on us in that Pokemon battle, so it's time for Team Yo to scarper and give a morale boost somewhere elsewhere. Sometimes their text is hard to read for some reason. Yeah, they're speaking like a. <laughs> like, apparently, they're speaking in like a very heavy British slang. Yeah. Because I've, I've watched British YouTubers talk about them. Right, okay. And that's, like, exactly how they speak in some, like, regions of, of the UK. Okay. Cheering is one thing, but one shouldn't get in the way of honest work. Gore. Gore! <laughs> you take Hop. That cop, that, that's Kabu, man, he's wicked. No wonder he's the fire-type gym leader. Ah, you are the trainers endorsed by Leon, Hop, and Zachary, am I right? I'm just training right up, no, and Josh. <laughs> up until <laughs> the last moment so that I can guarantee the perfect match when I face you gym challengers. I specialize in fire type Pokemon, and the water type Pokemon of Galar Mine number 2 are the perfect opponents to train against. Regardless, it's getting late. Just go straight once you get out of this mine and you'll reach Motostoke. Get a good rest at the hotel and make sure you're both in your top condition. Come on, Carcoal. Okay. Time for you to head on home, too. I'll make sure you get there safely. Gore. Gore. We're going to be on fire tomorrow. I see what awesome. he did oh, there. Oh, he just, like, jogged off. Did you <laughs> see that? He's, he had, like, a little sprint. Yeah. I remember I remember Lee talking about Kabu. He said that a lot of gym leaders give up because they can't beat Kabu. Or mm. gym challengers, I mean. Man, now I'm getting all fired up, too. I wonder if he's going to be extra hard, because we haven't really had too much of a difficulty so far. No. Oh, they exited us out of the mine automatically. I wanted to explore some more. <laughs> I wonder where we're going to end up. Okay. That carcoal from before. I guess it must have been here on a job. Uh, you do know about poker jobs, right? Uh, I do, actually, because I've done some of those off camera. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. Now, I, uh, I cream crackered. I'm cream crackered. That's that's a weird name word. Now I'm cream crackered. I'm for I'm I'm for the bug, uh, butter drop in and some sleep. Come tomorrow, that fire gym leader, Kabu, better be ready. I'll be coming for him. Ooh, whole bunch of Noctowl just spawned. Ooh yeah, it's a bunch of Noctowl and, some and a coffee. Oh, there's a pokeball back there. Three great balls. What's in the ex what's in the explanation points? I haven't seen. <gasps> I found Impidimp! Oh, nice! It was in the explanation point. I forget what typing he is. The 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 unknown Pokemon, like the Pokemon that no one will talk about for some reason. <laughs> for real. He has gone un uh, unannounced, but hiddenly so uh, shown in promotion so many times. I know, right? It is nighttime in my game. Is it nighttime in your game? Mm -hmm. I noticed that the day night cycle in this game doesn't really work correctly. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if it's because I'm in the story still, you know? Right. But, like, day night cycle, the, the standard 24 hour day night cycle in the wild area works. Mm -hmm. But if you go to, like, random cities, it's just whatever time is in the city, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's because we're still in the story and so they're not on a proper day night cycle or what, but. Cause you know, there's a couple times like what we just did, like it's like late at night, let's go home and do things, you know? Right. 
So I don't know if this story has its own day night cycle until we finish the story or what. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I'm getting hammered by this Impidim. <laughs> Alchemy. I'm trying to get Alchemy some some experience, and it and it uh the thing confused me like early on, and I haven't been able to attack on it yet. Mhm. Mm All right, Alchemy. Please do some do some work. I think Impidimp is is uh, dark type, so I'm trying to hit it with Sweet Kiss. Okay. But it keeps Alchemy keeps hitting itself in confusion. Not Sweet Kiss, a Draining Kiss. I'm trying to hit it with a Draining Kiss. That's what it is. Nice. Okay. Come on, Alchemy. There you go. Snap out of your confusion. That's what we want. Just don't kill the Impidimp. I killed it. Oh. <laughs> All that for nothing. Dang it. All right, I gotta find another one. I want to catch an Impidimp. I wonder if Impidimp evolves. I bet you it does, but I just don't know what it would evolve into. Yeah. I definitely haven't seen anything that it could evolve into yet. Hey, a Choodle. That's not what I want. Oh, by the way, I did some like surprise trading uh, in between sessions. Mm -hmm. And I found a foreign Choodle, so I've been trying to uh, shiny hunt it with Masuda method. No there luck yet. There are a few Pokemon that I may try to Masuda method. I may try to get a, the starters again. The, the Choodle I did that just last time. killed my Dottler. Yeah, Ooh. the starters are cool. I haven't seen any of them shiny yet, so I wonder what they look like. Mm-hmm. Last time I All got right, a, uh, in Sun and Moon, I got a shiny uh, Rowlet, and then I tried to get a shiny Poplio for the longest time, never did. Ooh, who are you? Oh, okay, that's mm -hmm. just, just a trainer. I, I got this, a shiny, uh, I got a shiny Rowlet, yeah. I don't remember if I did any of the others. Oh, I did get a shiny, um, what's the word? The one that isn't Poplio. Uh, it's, uh Litten? Lit Litten, Litten. I was blanking on his name. I was like, Incineroar, Toracat, what's the first one? <laughs> Alright, I'm trying to find another Impidimp. Okay. I'm fighting this There's one. police officer fellow. Okay, so you're advanced to pass. Me. Yeah, a little bit. Impidimp has Frisk. Don't take my Miracle Seed, please. I need that. Oh, oh, I almost I almost killed it, but I didn't, so that's good. I can catch it now. <laughs> Alright, Thwacky. Do uh, do some good. Just, just hang in. I'm trying to catch an Impidimp. There we go. I finally caught it. Very nice. And so, I looked around on the Pokédex and was looking at, like, habitats and things like that. Mm -hmm. I think... That Beedee's little like, was it Hatena? Whatever it was called. Mm -hmm. I think Beedee's Hatena is found on this route. Um, based on the the habitat thingy in the Pokédex. Okay. I don't know where you would find it. I found a rock and roller though. I'm on this bridge now. I'm finding a lot of feathers. Okay. Ooh, I'm back in Motostoke. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh. There's a there's a bridge another bridge somewhere else that you find a lot of feathers on too. Right, yeah. Stealth rock. Oh, I thought this was a trainer. Right. Okay, yeah. So this is I know exactly where we are now. Yeah, this is where I think that's where the uh, the Corviknight was blocking us earlier. Mm-hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I'm okay. making my way over to the Pokemon Center, and then I guess we're headed to the hotel, right? Yeah, I'm still on the route. I haven't gone anywhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was spending a little bit of time trying to find... I was trying to get the Impidimp at first, and now I'm battling a trainer. Okay. Oh, by the way, I discovered you can put on your, um, your uniform as a piece of clothing. Just so you wear it everywhere? Yeah. Okay. It's a it's an option for clothing. <laughs> mm -hmm. I still haven't found out how to like force a um I haven't figured out how to change your uniform like for the battles though. Right. Hmm. I don't I don't know that you can. 
And also, yeah, yeah, because I, I, I played around with it, but I haven't been in a gym battle since I have played around with it, so I don't know. But we're about to find out when we get to Kabu, so that's good. Yeah. Okay, Swoobat. It's Psychic and Flying. Can't do much against that with this. What's we'll Decorate, anyway? Sharply raises the target's attack and special attack by decorating the target. That's kind of cool. Hmm. So wait. Oh, that was dumb of me. Hmm. What happened? Decorate is meant for doubles. Uh huh. So when you attack, you choose a target. You choose your to... friend. You're supposed to choose your friend in mm -hmm. doubles. Mm -hmm. But in single battle, it just chooses the opposite of Pokemon. <laughs> you can't choose yourself. Nope. So I just raised the attack and special attack of a Swoobat that's about to hopefully not wreck me. Nice. <laughs> well, I've made it into the hotel and Marnie is here. Okay. Uh, Challenger Zachary, right? Out giving to your all even this late, huh? Hey, help with something for a sec. I want to see if you're ready for the next leg of the gym challenge. Alright. We going to battle? She's wanting to battle I you? I think so. Wicked. Got some fight in you, huh? Yes. And she's got, right when we started to battle her team, Yale, people popped up in the background and started cheering. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, don't mind me. I'll catch up at some point. Gotcha. I'm she's just struggling with a swoobat. I'll feel awful if I lose, but there's no way I'm gonna. Actually, I think you will. Let's start off with a flame charge. She's, she has a crow gunk, and I've got a uh, car coal out. Okay. Flame Charge seems to be a good move on Carcoal, because I don't think he has the best speed, but um, yeah. it raises his speed. But he was faster than uh, an Gunk right here. Yeah, I think his speed is probably not the best, but it is not bad yeah, either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to skip that police officer. Oh, well, no. I'm going to fight him. I'll never come back to him right now. If I ever, if I do skip him, I'll never come back to right. him. Right. <laughs> Police Officer Raymond, he's got like the biggest smile on his face right now. <laughs> he's, of course he's got a Growlithe. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't kill me. Alright, stun don't fist. Kill me. Do your, do your, do your job. Stun Super fist. effective. Almost killed me. Mud shot. Can I get a crit right here? That would be helpful. Nope. Okay. Carcoal just went down. That's fine. Oh, by the way, I found leftovers off camera, too. Really? Yeah, I don't remember how I got them. I just know I had them one time. At one point, I was like, oh, hmm. this is in my bag now. <laughs> and uh, so it's like, it's on my stun fisk right now. Mm -hmm. I forgot I had them, and then I didn't stun fisk, like, leftovers no, popped. I'm like, wait a minute. Ah, that did. I tried to hit Rock Smash to right. beat the Scraggy and accidentally hit Fury Cutter. Dang it. And she used a super you didn't potion. Want Fury Cutter? No. Crap. I would have. Sure? I could have taken Scraggy down right there if I didn't misclick. Okay. Well, I beat him. With a crit, man. This. This uh, Surfetch gets so many crits because you know he has the uh, item that gives him increased crit. Mm -hmm. It'd be no fun if things ended up ended just yet. That's why we aren't giving up. More Pico. Oh, More right. Pico. The little Pikachu, Pikachu clone. Pikachu clone, yeah. I don't know what type he is. I guess he's dark. Because all of her Pokemon are dark. Let's go with another Rock Smash. Dark and electric? Boom. Yes. One shot. Critical hit. <laughs> oh, I love Surfetch. So, I think I'm figuring out a side quest. Really? Yeah. So off camera, I talked to this kid. Mm hmm. He was like, hey, I lost my Mencino somewhere in Motostoke. He really likes water, but there's not many water places in Motostoke. Hmm. I saw a Pokeball behind one of these fountains, so I came out here, and then I saw that there was some barking mm -hmm. going on next to the Mencino, or next to the fountains. 
So I started whistling because the kid said if you whistle, he'll come out. Okay. And I think I just completed it. Nice. <laughs> It was completely by accident, but I was like, why am I seeing barking next to this fountain? <laughs> I'm talk to the kid now. You beat me. I came back. Thanks oh. for helping me out. Please take this. <laughs> it's on my way for saying thank you. Bottle of throat spray. Wh what? Raises special what attack do? when a Pokemon uses a sound-based move. That's... That's kind of cool. Did okay, you hear what I said? so it's a held item? Yeah, I guess so. Huh. That might not be terrible. Interesting. Yeah. Right, I'm about to head to Marnie. Okay. So she uses dark type Pokemon, so it probably wouldn't be a good yeah. idea to have my Dotler in the front. Guess I'd better get to I bed and rest so. up for tomorrow. You'd better sleep too. Urara! That was more Pico. <laughs> what? That was the noise it made. <laughs> It was spelled U R A R A. <laughs> All right, that's that's a weird cry for a, for a, a Pikachu I'm clone. Right. Okay, it's the next morning. Morning, Zach. Dude, her heels are like are just spikes. Spikes, yeah. That's gotta be uncomfortable as all get out, man. Yeah. <laughs> that friend of yours already went off to challenge the next gym. Kabu's le lead card is supposed to help against him, but I ended up with a few copies. So I'll give you one. Don't look so chuffed. It's no big deal. <laughs> chuffed. I don't know what... <laughs> chuffed. That's a British slang term. There's so many. Take this too. A little something for our battle yesterday. Two burn heels. Sweet. Bet you'll have no trouble beating that man of fire Kabu chap, right? Why don't you get over to Moto Stoke Stadium and get that gym badge already? Arara! <laughs> <laughs> He's still saying it. I forgot that poison resistant fighting. Mm hmm. I, I, I put double wool in because it's the double kick it has mm -hmm. against uh, against the toxic croak, and I was like, wait a minute, this thing resists fighting. Right. It's like, I forgot about that. I want to take a look at all of my. Oh, don't uh... hurt me too much. Double is so fat! I love it! <laughs> Let's see. What do, what do I have this good against fire? Nothing. <laughs> the double just took a a, I have a rock, low kick like a moves. champ. All right. I think here comes more Peko. Yep. Okay. Hello, little Pikachu. I'm assuming you're a dark type too, so I'm going to hit you with a um with a double kick. Oh, you paralyzed me. Is that how you're going to play? All right. You know what I really like? Okay. The people that What's cheer that? you on because they know you're a gym challenger. They're just uh, mm -hmm. they're just waiting outside the hotel and they're like cheering me on as I walk over to the gym. There's Hop. Yeah. Oh, he's angry. Oh, really? He didn't get hangry. He went hangry mode. Slow moving, aren't you, Zachary? I've already gone and earned my fire badge. Wow. That man of fire Kabu is just wow, what you'd fast. expect. Nearly got burnt in my battle with him. Even my strong, with my strongest team, it was definitely touch and go. But I still won in the end. Get a shift on, Zachary. I bet you could beat the man of fire too. Woo, let's do it. Alright, more Pecos down. I'm really looking forward to whatever kind of challenge we have here. Yeah, I'm excited to see. We don't have too many challenges right, since our leader Kabu has made this gym mission so hard, but I'll be happy to get you registered at once. If you're here to ja challenge our gym, we'll ask you to change into your uniform right, right. first. Yep, that's what he says. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm in uniform. You may find the fire gym's mission a bit different than the others you faced. In you go. How different? Hmm. Okay, we've got trainers around here. We're I'm in a circle. Okay. Oh, there's the hype man Dan. The hype man Dan. The gym mission for the fire gym is this: catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Okay. Earn five points to clear the gym mission. 
In case you were wondering, you'll earn 1 point for defeating a Pokemon in the tall grass, or 2 points for catching a Pokemon. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in your battles. Think about what your opponents might do and try to take the best action to rack up points. Okay. Gym mission start. Okay, I gotta get, I'm gotta get there. points. Okay, Volpix is up first. Oh, huh. So I'm fighting with this guy. Okay, I don't want to kill Volpix. I want to catch him. Okay, yeah, I'm still wearing the default uniform, so apparently I didn't figure it out. Don't die. Okay, Roly Coley, don't kill Volpix, please. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, two points, it looks like. Let's catch this thing. Ooh, this is interesting. So you've made it inside? Yeah. Sweet. Hi, Dan ha Hype Man. Boom. Okay, I caught Vulpix. Ooh, Incinerate. Is that a move that I want? It's a special type move. So it's probably not fantastic for to do. Might as well get it though. I don't need tackle. Okay. Oh, it's the Sizzlepeed thing. Oh, really? The bacon bug. I want one of those. Yeah. It's really cool looking. Um. Oh, it does say I've caught one already because uh, I got one in a wonder trade. <laughs> That's right. I forgot about that. I was like, why is there a Pokeball next to its name? Mm -hmm. So Solanda just fake out me? Wait a minute, <laughs> you're on my team, Solanda. <laughs> what are you doing, bud? Ooh, I could wreck this thing in one hit with a rock move. So let's uh let's hit it. Did Solanda? Let's see. Yeah, Solanda faked me out too. Solanda's attacking me. That's dumb. Yeah, why is it attacking me? I wonder if I can kill Salandit. Probably not. Oh yeah, I can pick Salandit. Let's hit him with a uh, ancient power. <laughs> Let's kill the gym challengers Pokemon. <laughs> I want. All right, I caught the Slizzle oh, in Silver Bead. <laughs> oh, it actually lets you keep them. Yeah, it does. Awesome, so I gotta get five points to win. So what I gotta do? Um, Here's a Volpix here. Yeah, five points, I think. Okay, let's hit him with a flame charge. Don't die, though. Okay, great. That did a lot less than I thought it would. All right, Rolly Coley, don't attack the Volpix. Oh, dang so it. Land it went down. I don't think that matters. Okay, great. So yeah, I could totally catch this thing. Great. One more hit from a flame charge and we're going to throw a Pokeball. Oh, Carcoal is perfect for this. Alright. There's a Litwick here. Okay. Is that on I gotta top? gotta catch the Litwick. Yeah. Gotcha. I gotta catch the Litwick because I killed the Volpix by accident. Okay. So I'm just going to throw great balls and hopefully the Sizzlepede that's with me will attack the Litwick. Or maybe I'll get lucky. Come on. Yes! Boom, got it. I caught it with one Pokeball Sweet. without having to attack it. <laughs> okay, I caught Volpix and Litwick. the Sizzle Pokemon. What's its name? Sizzlepede. Sizzlepede, right. Cool. I like that There guy. we go, Litwick. All right, so that's five, right? Challenger Josh has already claimed himself four points. Just one more to victory. What? You need five points to win? Yeah, but I thought by killing one, you still got one po point, right? I thought so. I killed the Volpix. Oh, I didn't kill it. Oh. Oh. I wasn't the one that killed it, so I didn't get the points. I get it now. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> I just one shot the Sizzlepeed that was my partner. So land it. So land it did it again. How much is that going to be? That's not too much. Oh, he's sending out to land it. Okay, so if he hits me with a, uh, that should be a smackdown. Okay. Okay. Oh, don't die. Don't die, Lewis. When I hit you with a smackdown, please don't die. Okay, I, don't, I think it'll be fine. Fantastic. Okay, we can catch this thing now, hopefully. Alright, I'm trying to catch the other sizzle peed. Okay. Let's throw a great ball. And got it. Awesome. So now I've got six points. That's all I need. I only needed five, so. Yeah, apparently not me not killing it doesn't count as a point, so. Cool. That's that's fine. I just got lit with, so uh yeah, I'm good to go with six points. Congratulations on another mission cleared. Clearing Kabu, uh, leader Kabu's gym mission is uh, like that. You're positively on fire. <laughs> Next, you'll be facing Kabu, the leader of the gym, the fire gym. On you go, challenger. Awesome. Ooh, okay. I can't ride my bike right now, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're 32 minutes in or so, 31 or something. Do we need to end the episode or do we need to do a gym battle? Uh, whatever you want to do. You can go ahead and take it out right now if you want to. Sure thing. We'll leave it on a cliffhanger right here. Fellas, when we come back, we will fight Kabu. So, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next episode when we take on the gym leader. Yes, indeedy. Good. Bye.